Hi everyone, pop quiz. What's the coolest or most useful smart home accessory? You're probably thinking my answer is going to be relatively obvious here. I mean, you saw the thumbnail and the title of the video. So yes, this video is about Eve Motion Blinds. However, on this channel, I try to focus my energy on showing you how products benefit you, your family, your smart home, and how they all work together. A smart home, an Apple home, isn't about one single product, it's about an ecosystem. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through Eve Motion Blinds and share some highlights that I think will help you decide if they're right for your smart home, and further to that, if they will work well and complement your ecosystem. Let's take a minute and talk about some of the coolest and most useful products in your smart home. Drop a comment on this video and let me know. Would it be smart blinds? What about automating smart locks when you leave home or go to bed? Or smart lights that automatically adjust the brightness and light temperature throughout the day and then change color to set the perfect ambiance for movie night? There's so many products to choose from. Smart thermostats, vacuum cleaners, buttons, a HomePod mini, your home hub that makes it possible to control your home away from home, stores your scenes and automations, and oh yeah, it's a pretty nice speaker too. I really like to reach you. With a modest collection, you can set epic scenes and automations. You leave home, your garage door closes, your door locks, the lights and music turn off, and your AC takes a break, and your indoor and outdoor camera starts streaming and recording. You wake up, your lights turn on to the perfect lighting temperature, your coffee maker runs, your heat or AC kicks in, and energizing music starts playing to get you ready for the day. These are just a couple of examples. Now let me really set the scene. Imagine adding in smart shades to really impress. Open them at sunrise, close them when you want to leave home or in the evening for privacy, or when you want complete darkness for movie time. Or perhaps it's a hot day outside and you want to save energy by automatically closing your blinds to block the sun from coming in. With a simple tap or voice command, open or close them whenever you want or repeatedly like I did when I first got them, just because I could. Smart Shades take your scenes and automations to the next level. I know one of the first things I do when I wake up is I open my honeycomb shades in my bedroom to let in some natural light. When I come downstairs to the main floor, I walk the perimeter of our great room to open each of the shutters. And it goes without saying that they're manually closed at the end of the day. These are totally first world problems here, but hey, we're all busy with two kids that need to get ready for school and my wife and I making sure that we're ready to start working for the day, it all counts. I mean, can you imagine operating a TV without a remote control? Or remember the days where we used to have to watch a movie and then rewind the VHS tape? Technology matters and it propels us forward so we can focus our valuable and limited time on what matters the most. Smart window shades are an investment, I'm not going to sugarcoat that, especially when you consider the number of windows in a typical house. When you're ready to make the leap to smart shades, you want to make sure that you're making the right decision balancing both cost and quality. When I learned last year that Eve was partnering with Kalis to make smart blinds, I was pretty excited. Eve is a trusted and well-known company in the HomeKit community. For years, they've been making premium smart home products known for design, privacy, reliability, and being exclusive to Apple HomeKit. For over a year, Eve has been busy updating their product lineup to include Thread. The Matter standard that promises improved integration across smart home platforms has been delayed a number of times, but it's expected to arrive this fall. Once it does, Eve will be ready, and devices will then be able to be enjoyed by users on other platforms such as Google and Alexa. And yes, Eve Motion Blinds are built on Thread, and I'll tell you more about that soon. Eve Motion Blinds don't require a hub. They aren't cheap, but I think they're a good quality option that's more affordable than some other options out there. Let me tell you more about them starting with the ordering process and what's available. Unlike other EVE accessories like EVE Outdoor Cam or EVE Energy, you can't just go to the EVE online store or find them on Amazon. Instead, go to motionblinds.com forward slash EVE and then select your country and find a retailer for your country. I'm in Canada, which you'll notice isn't listed. Don't worry though, these will be coming to Canada soon via selectblinds.ca. I really want to thank Eve and Kalise for arranging to send me their blinds in advance of the release in Canada so I can try them out for you and give you my honest feedback. Depending on when you're watching this video, they may already be available here in Canada. I'll make sure to include a link in the description so you can check that out. Also, follow me on Insta and Twitter and I'll share updates there as well. Depending on the retailer, the ordering process may vary, but your customization options should be similar. So let me show you how easy this is using selectblinds.com. Right now, it's just roller shades, but I expect more options to come over time. 
Scroll down and you'll be able to select light filtering or blackout. Blackout is probably what you want for bedrooms where you want as little light coming through as possible. I ended up installing these in my basement and since we occasionally watch family movies down here, we wanted to make sure that it's as dark as possible, even if it's a matinee. The first thing you need to do is select your fabric. As you can see, there are quite a few options. Mine are white, boring, right? I know, but I love the look of crisp white. If you're more adventurous, then there are some really cool colors to choose from. It's also a good idea to request free fabric samples before you order since we all know colors can look different in person. You have the option of an inside or outside mount. I personally prefer the look of inside mounted blinds, though mounting outside your window frame can provide better light blocking. Probably the most important part is measuring your windows. When we moved into our house, we hired a company to professionally install our blinds. With everything involved with moving, it was just easier. I remember the guy that did the work telling me, regardless of how old a house is, no window is completely square, and if you go check your windows, then you'll probably notice this to be true for you as well. So make sure to measure the top, middle, and bottom, and enter the smallest measurement. The last thing you want is for your blinds to not fit. The nice thing is that once you provide the window measurements, you don't need to worry about taking off a little extra on each side for the blinds to properly fit. That work will be done for you. Since these blinds are smart, you don't need a remote. I'll show you the different ways that I'm controlling these blinds shortly. Though, if you want the remote for added convenience, you have the option, and you can choose from a single channel, five channel, or even a 15 channel remote depending on the number of blinds that you're ordering or think you may order in the future. Though these are smart shades, they can still be controlled manually using the pull wand, and you can select to have this on either the left or right. You can also choose between a standard or reverse roll, then choose if you want it exposed, or for a small fee you can add either an aluminum fascia or cassette with fabric insert. This just depends on the look that you're going for. Since I installed these in my basement windows, which are fairly short, I went with the exposed roll, which I think looks best here. For longer windows though, I think I would definitely consider something like a cassette with fabric insert. Then there's the hardware, and you can choose between plastic or metal, and select the color. Next, you can choose between fabric wrapped or a solid bottom rail. Either option comes standard, so it's totally up to you. I did solid, and I think it looks nice. Lastly are some options for a side track, which is an insert along each side of the window to prevent light from coming in along the edges. If I was putting this in my bedroom, this is probably an option that I would add, but for my basement, it wasn't a concern, and the windows are small enough, so I didn't want to block any additional light while it was open. E-Motion Blinds have a 3-year warranty, though a 5-year limited and unlimited warranty can be purchased. The unlimited warranty basically includes accidental damage. These blinds charge using USB-C and you have the option to add a cord or you can use one you already have. The cord is 10 feet long so it gives you a good amount of length to reach your closest outlet. There's no USB brick included though, so if you don't have that, you will need to pick that up on your own. Now that you know more about Eve Motion Blinds, what other options are out there for HomeKit users? Hunter Douglas offers smart shades. They're a well-known company known for quality. I like that they have so many options to choose from, but they do require a hub to work with HomeKit and they can't be purchased directly. You need to go through a Hunter Douglas specialist. Hunter Douglas is also known for being costly, though I don't have any actual prices to quote. Soma has options for making your existing blinds smart. So if you're not looking to add or replace your entire window treatments, then this could be an option. They're compatible with any shade or blind that has a beaded chain or cord loop. They also have Soma Tilt for vertical and horizontal blinds with a wand. IKEA offers their smart shades, and while they come at a good price, your choices are very limited, and I've also heard some not great reviews. Once IKEA releases their new hub later this year, I'll maybe give them a try and let you know my hands-on feedback. So yes, IKEA does require a hub as well. Another one that requires a hub is Lutron Serena, probably the best known of the ones that I mentioned. They offer lots of options and are considered top of the line. I talked a lot about the quality of Lutron Caseta in the past, so it's no surprise that their shades work so well. In addition to the hub, they're also extremely expensive and outside many of our budgets. Lutron would likely be the main competitor to Eve Motion Blinds. Ask anyone that's used Lutron and they will rave about how well they work. They're fast and they move in sync when controlling multiple windows in case that's something that's important to you. Lutron has the advantage of offering not only a roller shade, but they also have honeycomb blinds and wood blinds as well. Again, I'm sure we'll see more options from E before long, but currently they only offer roller shades. As an example, a basic 2x4 blackout shade from Eve comes in at around $423 US or $547 Canadian. A similar Lutron Serena shade at the same size costs $637 US or $826 Canadian. So that's about $300 more Canadian, not to mention the cost of a Lutron bridge if you don't already have one. 
That's a huge difference and you can see how quickly that cost would add up if you're purchasing multiple shades. Again, I don't think you'd be disappointed with Lutron Serena, but it will cost you and I don't know that they give you that much more for the cost difference. Installation was straightforward and didn't take long. There are different steps depending on whether it's being inside or outside mounted. I'm simplifying this, but basically it's just a matter of screwing in the hardware and then sticking in the blinds. Before installing the blinds, I fully charged them using the USB to USB-C cord. I have outlets fairly close by to each window, but you can also use a power bank if it's more convenient. Like this window here, now that I have a couch in the way, I'll probably use a power bank the next time it needs charging. You can set these up right in HomeKit, but I recommend using the Eve app as you'll be prompted to set your top, bottom, and favorite positions. This is pretty important so HomeKit actually knows what 0 and 100% means. It is possible to set these up manually, but honestly, it's much easier to do it in the Eve app. I mentioned earlier that these work with Thread for a fast and reliable connection. Now that's as long as you have a Thread border router like the latest Apple TV or a HomePod mini. If that's not the case, then no worries. Like all Leave Thread products, they'll also work with Bluetooth. They may just be a little bit slower, but if you add a border router in the future, they will instantly and seamlessly start using Thread. We just recently finished our basement, so of course we needed some blinds for our new space, and Eve Motion blinds have been a dream for us. Visually, they look great, and you can tell they're good quality just by feeling the fabric and materials. They provide us privacy when we're in the basement, and since we chose Blackout, it's perfect for watching TV and making sure there's no glare coming in from the window. I've seen some people comment on the small loose cords at the top that get in the way of the clean look of these blinds, but this hasn't been an issue for me. They're pretty easy to just tuck away where they can't be seen. There are three windows down here in total. We have two of them installed in where we call our rec room, and then another in my wife's office. My wife likes them because she gets some bright sunlight in her office in the morning, so she can easily just close them halfway or a quarter of the way when it's too bright. Let's talk about the different ways to control these blinds, starting with the old fashioned manual way. Well, I say old fashioned, but it's not really because check this out, a little tug and up it goes. Tug it again and back down it goes. You can also just pull to stop the shade from rolling at your desired location. Pull and hold for 5 seconds, then it goes to your favorite position, which is set up in the Eve app. You'll be given the option to add your favorite position during setup in the Eve app, and this can be changed anytime. You can also control this in the Eve app and easily close and open partially or all the way. You can also see a history of all the times that your blinds have been opened, and check the battery life. You can also create schedules, scenes, and automations. The home app is similar, simply tap to open or close, or long press for more options. Similar to adjusting the brightness within your home kit lights, there's a vertical meter that you can slide to open to your desired amount. You can also see the battery level here as well. I didn't get the optional remote as I instead use home kit buttons to control these shades. By using a button, it's more versatile since you can trigger other home kit accessories within a scene. I have Eve button in my wife's office. It's Bluetooth, so it takes a couple extra seconds sometimes, but it works. Right now, it's set up like this. Single press is open. Double press is closed. And a long press is halfway. I also set up the lights to turn up to 100% with a double press to ensure there's enough light in the room even if the blinds are closed. And as you would expect, you can also use Siri. Hey Siri, close my large window shade. Adjust the blinds in Karsha's office to 50%. my small window shades to 25%. Then there are scenes and automations. I have an automation that opens my blinds at sunset, but only when someone's home, and then closes them at sunrise. We also have a TV scene that turns on some of my lights in my room and closes my blinds. Think about where you may want to add these and what automations you would set up. 
Think about having these blinds open automatically as your alarm goes off and even stagger your automation so they open gradually as wake up time approaches. Now these do make some noise, which I don't find noticeable in my basement, though in a quiet room you are likely to hear them a little bit. It would be great to see a sleep setting that opens them slower with reduced noise. I've had a couple of months to test these out and they've worked great. They're usually pretty quick, but sometimes there is a delay. At times, Siri will tell me that the blinds aren't responding, but seconds later, complete my command. Overall though, they're pretty quick and they've been reliable. They've never gotten jammed or stuck and I haven't seen the dreaded no response error. Really, they've worked just as expected. I gave these a full charge when I installed them. Both of my rec room windows still show 100%, pretty good considering all the testing I've done. My wife's office is 60% though, so still pretty good. She must be playing with them during her Zoom meetings. The battery should last around six months between charges with average use. So final thoughts, having smart shades just makes things easier. It's honestly pretty amazing. It makes me realize how eventually I'm gonna want to replace every single window with smart blinds. I've been happy with the quality, design, and reliability of Eve Motion Blinds. I love that they take advantage of thread for added speed and reliability. It's also great to have different ways to control these blinds, including a manual control from the pull wand. While I do think that these are fair priced and offer good value for what you get, they aren't cheap. Let's face it, quality blinds are expensive, smart or not, but you usually get what you pay for and expect that these blinds should last for many years. Of course, it'd be great to see more options like wood blinds, or honeycomb blinds, or even vertical blinds for patio doors. Also, it would be amazing if there were ever Eve Motion shutters. Maybe you've just bought a new house and you need to add window treatments, or you're just looking to update an existing space. Personally, I highly recommend Eve Motion blinds. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll leave a link in the description with some videos from some other amazing creators so that you can continue to do your research and make the best decision for your smart home. That's all for this week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.